One of the fundamental concepts you need to understand in Dynamics 365 for Talent is how to use jobs and positions to manage your organization and the system. Jobs and positions are the foundation of Dynamics 365 for Talent. Together, they describe the role that an employee fills within your company. Since some information is common across several roles, jobs and positions are separated into their own records. The job record stores data that is common to multiple roles. That means that several employees can have the same job. Information stored in a job record describes work that those employees do and the expectations of anyone who holds the job. Positions, on the other hand, are unique and have a one-to-one -one mapping with employees. Information stored in a position record describes where, organizationally, the work that is described in a job is done. Positions drive reporting structures, cost elements, workflow and approval flows, and regional pay differences. Jobs can be assigned to several positions, or in some cases, a job is only applicable to a single position. In this example, each of the jobs is assigned only to one position. Unfortunately, we're not saving much configuration work. Four jobs and four positions. But in this example, the sales associate job is assigned to three positions. We only have to configure two jobs and four positions. When you scale this to dozens or hundreds or thousands of jobs, this is a meaningful efficiency. A job describes the work that is expected of all employees in the organization who perform the job. The job record includes job description that gives an overview of the job, job function, type, and family, job compensation range parameters, skills, tests, education, screenings, tasks, and areas of responsibility that apply to anyone who holds the job. Think of this as the job profile that you would post when you're looking to hire a new employee. A position represents a single seat or headcount in the organization and describes all the organizational information associated with that headcount. Organizational information like department and job family, date ranges for when a position is active and when the position is assigned to a worker, financial dimensions you can use for costing and budget defaults for the position. You can also specify the managerial relationship from one position to another. This establishes an organizational hierarchy that the system can use to structure manager self-service features and approval workflows. When an employee leaves the company, they're terminated in the system and the position is available for someone else to fill. All the organizational information is already there, so you don't need to start over. Your org chart stays intact and you have a history of who filled the position. This has been an introduction into the foundational building blocks of Dynamics 365 for Talent, jobs and positions. If you'd like to hear more about the, the features that they make possible and how these features can work for your business, contact Elevate HR for more information or a live demo.